Hello everyone, this is Zaid from PA Academy team. Today we will explore together how to implement generative AI workflows, specifically stable diffusion within your 3D modeling process. So firstly, we will be extracting a 3D view from Rhino 3D, and then we will be using ConfUI to develop an image to image AI workflow that includes SDXL and control nets models. So let's get started. So firstly, we are inside Rhino 3D now. So we want to actually iterate with this 3D model with AI. And what we will do is just to take a screenshot of the building according to the position that we would choose. For example, this is a, this might be a, like a suitable position. We can take it from here, typing in the command line, print, and then it would take us to this uh, navigation. We will choose uh, image file. We are seeing now here some uh, errors in the capturing. We can just adjust a little bit the view and then retake the print. Zooming in a little bit more. But I think, yeah, that is good enough. Keeping the width as 1024 by 1024. We will choose the location of the uh, image that we want to save in. And then after that, we will uh, open ConfUI now and go through uh, a workflow that we will develop together to produce uh, such uh, AI visuals. So we opened ConfUI now, uh, the desktop application. If you haven't installed ConfUI, you can uh, check out our video that discusses uh, the process of installation. This workflow here is just standard workflow of uh, image generation. Uh, it is uh, according to text to image uh, workflow, but we will now develop it further so we can uh, make it an image to image workflow. So the first thing we want to check out is the checkpoint model. It would be the main node to focus on. Uh, we said that we want to use an SDXL model. You can just go to the manager, which we have installed actually, uh, and then model manager. And then you will type SDXL and it should directly come in here. Uh, this is the standard uh, SDXL base model. You can install it directly by pressing on this uh, button. But what we have done actually is uh, we installed a fine-tuned model uh, of uh, SDXL which is available on uh, Civit AI. You can check it out in here. So if you install this model as we have done, uh, what you need to do is just to take the file and then go to ConfUI folder inside uh, the models folder, then checkpoints folder, and then you need to place the model uh, in here accordingly. But if you installed it from the manager, the this process will be done automatically. So just make sure of this uh, firstly. We have already downloaded the RealViz Excel. We will choose it now and then uh, we will develop the workflow further on. The first thing uh, we need to do is just to put a load image uh, node. This will allow us to place uh, um, an image so we can apply more processes to it. So we actually extracted these two images. We will choose one of them for now and drag and drop. It should be placed in here. We will uh, further uh, take this output and then uh, there is this VAE encode node. We will select it and delete the latent image existing one. Uh, connect the VAE of the checkpoint node and then uh, place it to the uh, input of the K sampler, which is the main processor of this uh, whole thing. Now we have uh, placed the image uh, within the process of the workflow. Uh, but to detail the workflow more, uh, we will apply some uh, processes regarding the uh, conditioning phases. Uh, what we will do, we need to go to the manager and then uh, custom nodes manager and then type control net uh, and then download uh, these two nodes, the ConfUI control net uh, AUX and the ConfUI advanced control net. These two are essential actually uh, to have this uh, ability to uh, manipulate with the images in different aspects in different ways according to your design decisions. Uh, so just make sure to install them. So I have already installed them. If you don't have them, there will be just install button just as uh, these uh, custom nodes in here. 
just restart comfy UI and then the nodes should be now available for you. Uh, what we will do is to double click the, the canvas and then type uh, control net. And uh, firstly, we will position the apply control net node and then from that, let's take the input uh, of the control net, take the control net loader in here. So after that, we have uh, these two flip text encode conditionings. One actually would function as the positive prompt and the other clip text encode node is for a negative uh, prompt. Uh, we will connect the conditioning, the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative input of the control net. And then you also want to connect is the VAE. And then one more uh, process now is needed, which is the control net uh, AUX preprocessor, which we have uh, installed actually from the custom nodes. We need to connect the image uh, with the preprocessor and then connect it to the image input of control net. And from that, we can select the preprocessor uh, bar in here and select different kinds of maps that are responsible to extract data from this uh, image. Uh, every preprocessor has specific aspect to extract data from the image. Uh, what we want to select actually now is the depth anything preprocessor. It will actually just take the depth of this image, consider it uh, within the output. Uh, we can just uh, drag and drop in here then select preview image to see the depth map in relation to this load image. Let's see them together. And then uh, regarding the load control net model, this uh, control net model can work with any preprocessors of these. So it is uh, a crucial control net model to download. Uh, you will just go to the manager and then model manager, union, and then it should come in in here there that that one you should download it and uh, restart uh, comfy ui so we are now close to the end of the workflow development we will uh, connect the positive and the negatives to the k sampler and let's decrease the strength a little bit of the apply control net to have more uh, strong output uh, let's put it as 0 0.65 we will adjust the end percent a little bit now what we will do is just to type our positive and negative prompt so just describe your image what you want to see uh, in the output and then for the negative we will write uh, blurry bad quality for example all of these parameters, just write them. Yeah, let's just uh, start with this for now. For the case sampler parameter, I'm using steps as 30 and then the CFG as 5.8. Um, now let's uh, start the process, run it together and see the output. So we can see together the preview image of the depth the map is as you can see in here, it's extracting the depth of the image that we have inserted in here. Let's wait for it. So this is the output we are seeing. We can see like modern kind of uh, architecture and visual features as we have described in the prompt. Um, but uh, in terms of output image uh, details, there is still, for example, this white areas and so on. It's actually because of the CFG count. Uh, if we increase the CFG a little bit, for example, to reach 7, um, we will have just more uh, detailed, more uh, uh, realistic features and more additions to the overall uh, output. Let's run it together and see what can change. So as we can see in here, the output image is just more detailed. It, it captures a lot of uh, greenery in here, which were just pure white in the previous output. And there is a lot of greenery, the details of the architecture itself, uh, the details of the building is just more uh, accurate, we can say. Uh, also, like the uh, coloring of the output is now just more saturated, we can say. Um, so, for now, 
that's it for like developing an image to image workflow of stable diffusion XL model. We have our workflow this we can also share it uh, with you guys that would be it for this video. So that's it for today. If you want to learn more details about AI in architecture or about contents relevant to the architectural field, feel free to check out our AI Academy's website where we include lots of course topics conducted by leading architects and designers. Thank you for watching.